aortic stenosis. The ETMC Cardiovascular Institute offers a procedure to help these patients. And joining us to talk more about this is Dr. Tolleson. Good morning. Good morning. I hope I didn't mess that up. No, that's great. Okay. Thanks for having me. <laughs> okay, so first off, let's start with what is aortic stenosis? So aortic stenosis is a narrowing of your aortic valve. Your, the aortic valve is like a, it's like the doorway from your heart to the rest of your body. So each mm -hmm. time your heart beats, your aortic valve opens, lets all the blood flow out, closes back. So aortic stenosis is when that, that doorway or that valve, instead of opening all the way up, only opens a little bit, so it's like a rusty door. Mm -hmm. And so do people, I mean, how do people even realize this is an issue for them then? What are they seeing? So like we were talking about, people present typically with increasing shortness of breath, doing activities they could normally do without shortness of breath, sometimes with chest pain, sometimes with just increased fatigue, decreased energy level, and sometimes by passing out. Well, and I feel like it's so hard because a lot of different things have such similar symptoms, because that kind of sounds like someone's maybe even having a heart attack or a stroke. Very true. The symptoms with aortic stenosis to differ differentiate from a heart attack usually come on very slowly, very gradually. And so sometimes patients for, for months and sometimes years don't recognize the symptoms. They think, I'm just getting older. I just can't do as much because I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. And so to help this, once you've caught or you realize it's going on, you guys offer a procedure then. It's right. pretty unique. So typically over the last 50 years, the way if you have any type of valvular heart disease, specifically aortic stenosis is you have open heart surgery, you take the old valve out, put a new valve in. Life-saving operation, but it is open heart surgery. What we've developed over the last several years is the ability, well, to back up, most people are familiar with how we take a stent from the artery in your leg up to mm -hmm. your heart open blockages that way without doing open heart surgery. We've now miniaturized an aortic valve so that we can, instead of doing open heart surgery, we can take a valve through the artery in your leg up to your heart, replace your aortic valve without ever opening your chest, without ever stopping your heart, without ever putting the patient on, on bypass. So obviously the obvious advantage is that it's not open heart surgery, but what other, I guess, maybe benefit is there to this procedure then? Great. So it was originally developed for older patients, patients that were too risky to have surgery on. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, the, the advantage is you don't, you don't put patients on cardiopulmonary bypass. We do put the patients to sleep. You don't have to open their chest. And so it's a much more minimally invasive way of fixing. So the recovery is, is much less. You know, the recovery for typical open heart surgery is six weeks before where they can lift things, do things, and so forth. These patients are sitting in a chair two hours after the surgery. They're up walking around. Most of them, by 48 hours, are out of the hospital mm -hmm. back to their normal activity level. So after you know the surgery, after the recovery, what do people need to do as far as maybe lifestyle changes to make sure this doesn't happen again? Biggest things with patients are, and it's, it's the same with a lot of heart disease, is blood pressure and cholesterol. Okay. Those are what we, what we call the silent killers because neither one of them give you symptoms. If your cholesterol is high, if your blood pressure is high, both of them can go on for years and years and affect your body, your arteries and your valves. Mm -hmm. So those are things that you need to have checked. So don't eat the dessert jar like Caroline and I just did. It's good for our <laughs> business, but it's bad for you. Oh, I know it is, but it tastes so good. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Okay, we'll be right back with more of KHK 